So Joe Biden has, um, his administration has now confirmed that he's abandoning student loan debt relief. Watch this awkward back and forth with Jen Psaki. Biden administration considering extending that student loan payment pause. I know um, there's, if not, besides legislation that probably won't pass, what are some of the options that can help these people? Um, you're talking about the student loan payment pass that expires in February, just for, for clarity. So um, in the coming weeks, we will release more details about our plans and will engage directly with federal student loan borrowers to ensure they have the resources they need and are in the appropriate re repayment plan. We're still assessing uh, the impact of the Omicron variant, uh, but a smooth uh, transition back into repayment is a high priority for the administration. A smooth transition back into repayment is a high priority for the administration. Yeah, Joe Biden promised at least $10,000 worth of student loan debt relief. Um, at one time, it was 50. There was even one time he said, I'm going to eliminate your student loan debt. And now we're getting none of it. So he's eliminated like $2 billion or something. I don't remember the details. I think one of it was for one, one thing was for scam colleges. Another one was for veterans or something. Um, but there's over $1.7 trillion of student loan debt. And to abolish like two or three billion, you do the math on that. It's nothing. So I was reminded of credit to the Twitter account holding Biden accountable um, because they track Biden from a left wing perspective. Um, there was an article in Business Insider recently, very recently. Meet an independent voter with $163,000 in student debt who left the Democratic Party after four decades because she felt betrayed by Joe Biden. Quote, I really felt he was going to help us with the student loan debt problem. Literally losing voters as a result of going back on your word on student loan debt relief. Here's another one. This is from NBC. Most black voters support eliminating student loan debt, new survey finds. A survey of registered black voters shows 40% would consider staying home for the next election if there's no action on student loan debt. 40% would consider staying home if there's no action on student loan debt. Joe Biden could eliminate it literally through executive order. He could eliminate it right this second if he wanted to do that. And if he were to do that, well, you win back that independent voter who said, I'm leaving the party after because uh, they lied to me about student loan debt relief, and you guarantee that you don't have 40% of black voters considering staying home because you didn't keep your word. See, this is what we're talking about. Politics is not rocket science. If you deliver for the people, the people will deliver for you. Biden is not delivering for the people, so they're not going to deliver for him, and they're not going to deliver for the Democrats at the ballot box in the next election. And it's like we're sitting here watching the Titanic in slow motion crash into the iceberg, and, you know, people are given all their opinions and their takes and how it's going to unfold in the play-by-play. -play. It's not that complicated. Sign an executive order to abolish all student loan debt. Boom, your approval rating goes up at least five points. Sign an executive order to effectively legalize marijuana. Change it from a Schedule 1 to a Schedule 5. Boom, your numbers go up even more. Instead, they're doing this. I'm not even sure if Trump was in office he would do this. Because he'd probably fear shit. Well, if I make people... Start paying those student loan debts, start paying that student loan debt after that long pause. That might hurt me in the polls and in the election. Even Trump might not do this. Biden's doing it. This is beyond embarrassing at this point. There just, there is zero imagination about what's possible to do. And there's zero will to do the right thing because the party is bought and owned by corporate America. And so they're serving that constituency industry, big business, the wealthy, over the voters and the people. Well, there are consequences to that, and we're trying to warn you about them. But maybe they just don't care. They don't even care. Because look, they have the White House, they have the Senate, they have the House of Representatives. They're not doing anything with it, and so they're going to lose it. So, they just maybe they're just like, who cares if we lose it? Whatever. We're not doing anything with power anyway, so who cares? At least if they probably think at least if we're in the minority, we can virtue signal about, oh, all the things we said we were going to do but didn't do. Well, now we're really going to do them, so vote for us, and then we won't do them again. Mm, man, this is so frustrating. Remember all those articles that compared him to FDR? He's the next FDR. My ass cheeks, he's the next FDR. FDR's rolling over in his grave at that comparison. 
Don't you ever say that. He's more like Barack Obama, and he's more like Bill Clinton. All the new Democrats are just that, neoliber neoliberal corporatists, and they're new Democrats. That's very different from a New Deal Democrat. Everybody who wrote one of those articles comparing him to FDR should be shot out of a cannon and launched into the sun.